how to make pickles. Embarrassingly easy. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and I'm outside with pickles. The following is my really embarrassing, simple pickle recipe. I hope you enjoy it. I actually like it simple. We make it different ways, but this is one of Gary's favorite ways and one of my favorite ways, too. I have a nest up there. I don't think she eats pickles. So I'm just using an old pickle jar and put as much dill as you want. I don't have that much right now. There's not that much in the garden, so I used what I had. This is just the zucchini I had picked today. So we're going to cut off the end just because even though I will say when I was a little kid I would eat the end of the cucumbers. Now I've got to figure out about how long I want to make them. So I think I'm going to go small. Let's see, measuring the, the knife on the jar, which would mean they'd be about that long. So we're going to go shorter, of course. So we'll go about like that. This is clean. Make sure everything is clean. There's no seeds. The younger, the, there's a little bit of seeds in there. The younger, the better. I'm going to go real thin. And the reason I'm going real thin is because I want it to ripen. I want it to get me ready to eat sooner. I should taste it. I like tasting my squash. Mm. Oh my gosh. I can eat it like that. Don't worry if it's not perfect. It won't matter. Mm. Mine is very simple right now. My dad used to have a whole recipe. And I don't use the whole recipe. Now we're just going to put it in the jar. Pack them in tight. As tight as you can. It's not that important, but you want to get as much in there as you can. Now, of course, if I don't have enough, that's fine too. See how they fit really nice in the jar? Okay, we're going to get a few more in the jar. Again, I'm going to just get an idea about like that. So we're going to go shorter. Perfect. We'll see how many we can get in the jar. Whatever we don't get in, I can grate up and put into something. Or grate it up and give it to the dogs. They love it. Or just eat it. Okay. Now we're packing them in. Come in as tight as we can. See how many we can get in there. Cut this one yet? Not yet. Very slow. We're going to go down on the hand. Catch it that way. Don't know how many more we can pack in. That's kind of big. Yeah, I'm going to cut this one a little bit more. You're supposed to wait a couple days before you eat it, but let me tell you something. If I make this tonight, Gary's going to be in it tomorrow. They seem like they get eaten before they're ready. I should be making a few more jars. I need more dill. I've got to get serious and get more dill in there. I can almost pack in a few more. Let's see how tight they are. See, there's my dill. Whoops. I don't know if I can really get any more in there. I can try. Let's take the hard top off. See if we can get a little bit more. But I think we've really packed it really, really good. You can put in whatever you like. Some people like black pepper and different things in there. This is going to be really basic. It's just really going to be salt. I think that's as tight as I can get it. That's one thing I sure do like is our zucchini. I use it for everything. You don't even need cucumbers. Okay, you know what? Gary's going to be picking off the top. So I'll put some small pieces on the top. So these will be like your test your test taste pieces to see if it's ready yet. Now, now what I have to do is I've got to go fill this with water. I do it, I do it differently than my dad. I'm using bottled water. Now the reason I'm using bottled water, purified bottled water, 
and you don't have to but that is the way I do it it's going to be really on the top but it'll be gone tomorrow is sometimes if chlorine may stop it from working we're going to get it just about to the top yeah that one is really not going to fit in but you know what like I said he's going to snatch that okay so I didn't even use a whole bottle Sometimes the chlorine can stop it from turning into your pickles. What it might do is kill the good bacteria that's getting in there and working and turning this into pickles. So the chlorine could hinder it. It's not so much your chlorine, but if they use chloramine, you're toast. It, it's not going to work. Some cities are using a stronger chemical instead of just regular chlorine, and you got your fluoride and everything in there. We're not done yet. I am back. I am using plain salt. No iodine in it, just plain salt. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to pour off all the water. I know exactly how much water has to go back in here because I'm using the same water. Now I'm going to add in the salt and we're going to stir it up. This is just like I said, this is my way. Everybody's got their own way. Start with less. You can always change it, but then I'll have to add in more bottled water. Let's stir in some salt. I do like my pickles salty. There's ways of fixing them if they've got too much salt. If you don't have enough salt, you could end up not having it turn into pickles. You want it to, you know, dissolve as much as possible. I have no measurement. Because I never know how much water is really going to go in there. Now I'm going to taste this. I think there's more than enough salt in there. So now, I'm going to make sure it's nice and dissolved. It looks pretty good. And it's going to go back in there. That's it. Look at that. Now, what I'm going to want to do, it's not Clausen's. What I'm, what I'm going to want to do now is I want to set this jar on top of another plate because it could bubble up. I'm keeping this loose. It's going to start working right away. I mean, if I wanted to, if I wasn't using this, I could even just sit it in here. And this way, if it bubbles up, it's not going to go anywhere. I might actually do this for the night because it's like midnight. And just let it sit here. That's the only thing is... When it starts working, it can bubble. It doesn't always bubble over, but it can. That's, you know, that's just how simple it is. I do like a lot of dill in there, but I don't have a lot of dill. This is going in the fridge, and in the morning, I can grate it up. I can make some eggs and just throw it in there. I, I throw zucchini into everything. But that's how easy it is. You know, it is just super easy to do. That's it. There were supposed to be multiple test pieces on top. Somebody took them. I saw Gary in here. Mmm. 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 So good. It's so easy to make. It's actually embarrassing to put a recipe like this up. Okay. Okay. <gasps> It's working. That is a good thing. The bubbles. Look at that. It's probably good enough to eat. I might leave it one more day. Or at least a few more hours. I told you it's that easy. It's just salt and water in three days and you've got pickles out of zucchini. I hope you enjoyed it. It's so good. I like it. And add whatever you want to your recipe too. You make it taste the way you want it to taste. I like it this way. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Mmm. So good.